Welcome to the review space of my channel. The Tide Radio Wireless Programmer is the device dropped here by the Tide Radio Company in exchange for this honest and unbiased review. Stay tuned. In the tiny box, we find the Tide Radio information card. Oddmaster Programming App User's Manual, we'll talk about that in a minute, and the device itself with the charging USB cable. This cable is only for charging. So, the wireless programmer, what it really is? So, it's a twofold thing. First, it's a substitute for your favorite programming cable. Secondly, it's a software enabling you to easily program your radio and also offering a lot of other features not directly linked with the programming business. The wireless programmer itself is pretty compact device measuring 4.5 by 2.5 centimeters. And the tiny box is pretty comfortable itself for permanent storage when not in use. What radios the wireless programmer is good for? Well, many radios, but not all. For instance, this my older Bofang UV5RC is not, because it's not on the list. So, before you buy the programmer, please make sure that your radio is on the list provided by the Tide Radio website. Accordingly to this website, the list is constantly updated, so maybe today your radio is not on the list, tomorrow is on the list. As it comes to me today, I continue this review with another radio. My TalkPod A36 Plus Walkie Talkie is on the list of supported radios, so it can be used together with the wireless programmer. To connect the programmer to the radio, the speaker mic sockets should be used on the radio. All you need to do is just gently but firmly press the programmer into these sockets. So now you can switch the radio on and wait for a moment. Because to continue on with programming, we need to set up the software and the mobile phone. The wireless programmer will not run without the programming software, obviously. For that, you need to download the Oddmaster programming app. And the good news is, and I like it very much, that this app is designed for mobile devices. It means I don't need a desktop PC, nor I need the laptop PC to program my walkie-talkie. I can use either my iPhone or my Android phone, both work equally good and the app could be equally downloaded nicely either from the App Store or from the Google Play Store. The Oddmaster app supports three functions basically. First and most important of course is the programming software, second is a push to talk over a cellular or kind of an intercom function. Well, it's like you can use your mobile phone using this software as a, your walkie-talkie via the cellular. Well, it's not kind of a ham radio, is it? And the third function is the social function. So like uh, social networking, discussion groups, whatever, which you can get into straight from the app. When the radio and the programmer and the phone all are on, the app is downloaded and installed, then you can try to establish a link. The user manual strongly recommends to not try to pair the devices straight from the device to the settings in the phone, but to do the pairing job from inside the app. So when you start the app 
and it's installed and configured and you are signed up for, for the for the account and registered whatever so then you finally see this this working um, windows uh, on your phone and um, then you need to connect your bluetooth from in, from inside the app like that the device under the name of kit is recognized the speed um, is indicated and uh, my radio is chosen already but if it's not then you push then you press uh, the radio button and, and then you choose your radio from the list which could be a very long one here okay so mine is a a36 plus from talkpot and then you can start reading if you push a read button uh, you will read all the information uh, from your from your radio into your app in, in your phone so it's working it's program the light is blinking in the, the approach the progress indicator is moving and we see one channel is busy and another channel is busy so and you can change configurations of, of the channel uh, you can change configuration of all the functions or general functions for instance let's say you, you want to change this, the squelch level which is one now you want to change the squelch level up to three all right it's done all right So again, we see writing is in progress, LED is blinking, program showing, progress showing. All right, so we see the squelch setting is three and it was one. So it means uh, we successfully changed the setting in the radio from inside the app. The next interesting feature is the repeater button. The Oddmaster app provides with the access to the repeater's database. It means that you can find the repeaters around you in the some certain zone you establish in the setting. So like uh, in my case, I established something like around 300 kilometers from my location. Uh, and it means, and, and let's see, uh, we push a repeater button and the app starts looking and it finds, you know, all the repeaters which are you know available in this database for my location more or less plus plus minus 300 kilometers the, there are some some repeaters my local ones neighboring just few kilometers away from me some 100 kilometers away i put a mark and then i can choose import to so and I, I can choose a channel which i want to import this repeater frequency to let it be channel three confirm and we see that it's I, I, I confirm that they want to import it into channel 3 and then I push the import button on the bottom on the bottom of the phone and okay it's important let's check so do we see it on the yes so on the number 3 is the repeater I just was talking about so now this configuration is done, is saved, and I can write into my radio. So again, the writing is in progress, LED is blinking, program is displaying. Okay, okay, and it's okay. So now let's go to the memory mode, and we see that two memories memory one memory two memory three yes so memory three and it it, it it even copied the name ly zero r u t so that's the name that that's the call sign of the repeater and the name so it was configured in that way uh, on the list so all all this information was copied to the radio so if you push the rx tx button here you will come to the RX TX list. So in this list, all the configurations, you know, are saved, which you decided to save 
while making changes in the configurations for the channels or for the function or whatever. You can choose any of them and then upload again to the radio. If you mess mm, something up in the radio settings, you always can get back to the latest working, known working condition of your configuration. This is a this is very good feature. This we can say that everything is working and the configuration part of and programming part is pretty pretty self-explanatory and easy we see all the other options what we can do with this app so if you are registered and you are signed up to your account you can get access to other functions uh, which otherwise uh, not uh, available on the Oddmaster app if you're not uh, not signed up. All right, summing up, guys. The Tide Radio Wireless Programmer is a tiny little device which brings much more flexibility in your everyday UHF and VHF endeavors. So, the pros and cons for this device. The biggest pro, I think, is the possibility to use your mobile phone. You don't need a PC to program your radio. I think it's uh, very convenient actually if I change the location and I need to program the frequencies of the repeaters in this new location. I can do it by the means of the software and this programmer easily, no problems. You download the list of the repeaters and you put it into your radio through the wireless programmer. So, and of course, the second pro is the programmer is wireless. So you don't need a cable uh, which can break. So the wireless link will not break. Of course, the device itself can break, but uh, the contacts are pretty firm it's you know the same contacts used for speaker mic and they are quite you know reliable you just plug it in and it stays firmly and nothing much to break actually as it comes to the cons well probably the price at the price which is advertised now in their website at the $24.99 I think it's a little bit overpriced because $24.99 is actually half of the price or almost the price of a new radio. And uh, I think uh, accessories should not cost almost the same as the device itself. Anyway, thank you Tide Radio for sending this product in for a review because I like making reviews on the devices which are interesting for me and I hope interesting for my viewers. So my viewers, if you think alike, please give me a like. Please consider subscribing and of course send your opinion, send your comments into the comments section. If you didn't like this review or you think this is not interesting for you, so please send a comment in the comment section too, because it is very important to me to know what is interesting for you and what is not in creating and making my future videos. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in my next review videos on my review space. Cheerio, this is Linus, Lima Yankee 2 Hotel.